After a few cups of coffee, uh, some really interesting research, and you know, an hour and a half of walking around in the woods, I want to share some thoughts uh, that have just been really exciting for me about uh, some of the why of awareness practices. Why do we practice awareness? Um, so I do, you know, have a tendency to wax philosophical, and I love big words when they're appropriate. So do keep that in mind. Um, but I'd like to kind of anchor these ideas in uh, our neurophysiology, in how we understand movement. So, as you might know, as you might not know, movement is, in essence, it's a sensory motor feedback loop, right? We take in sensory inputs, uh, for lack of a better word. We have sensory inputs, both in terms of external sensory cues, uh, internal sensory cues, and we have motor outputs, everything from you know reflexive movements on up to uh, any voluntary movement you'd go through, dancing, asana, snatches, etc. So, this sensory information, this sensing process, uh, is essentially it's the the foundations of uh, the cognitive process. It's the foundations of cognition and of knowing, and that's something that you know every form of life engages in some form of that cognitive process. Uh, that's one of the key defining characteristics of life, is the ability to, to self-organize in response to sensory stimuli. So, uh, if you want to know more about that, by the way, uh, check out the, the Santiago Theory of Cognition, uh, the work of Gregory Bateson, um, a, a number of other authors from there. Let's say that sensing is the earliest form of cognition, one of the defining characteristics of life. Again, something that all life engages in. On the other half of that sensory motor loop, if sensing is cognitive, then the motor side of that equation could be seen as the, uh, the creative side of that, the, the side through which we actually engage with the world. So we're in this dynamic back and forth relationship of sensing and engaging, of cognition and creation. This, I think, is the, the fundamental role of awareness practices. Awareness, awareness is the necessary ingredient for bringing intention to how we act and engage with the world. Awareness is the kind of necessary ingredient for just determining the true north on our compass uh, by bringing conscious attention to the cognitive and creative process of life. That's how you carve out and craft the life that you want to live. It is only through awareness. Keeping your fingers crossed that you're going to get what you want by accident is uh, just stupid. Uh, you're not going to accidentally get what you want. You're not going to wishfully think what you want uh, into existence. It's only through uh, awareness and intentional creative engagement with the world that we have a prayer of getting what we want, that we have any chance. So that, I think, is the, the fundamental reason why we need to practice awareness. Uh, it gives us a choice. It gives us the dignity of choice. Uh, to borrow from Feldenkrais. So that's why we practice awareness, because life is a cognitive and creative process. It's a dynamic interchange with our surroundings, and the only way you're going to shape that in any way that has any hope of working out for you uh, is by doing so intentionally. So that's the why of awareness, and uh, off to walking. <laughs>